What's up? What's poppin'? Talk to me, spirit. Let's give them something to talk about. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. If you like the words that's coming out of my mouth, if you like the content that you're hearing and seeing, please like, subscribe, become part of the Talk To Me Spirit family. What it do, fam? What's up? Can your homegirl get some love? Thank you for being the OGs. Thank you. If you're breathing, you are achieving. And if no one tell you today, I am proud of you and I love you. Now, before we get into the message, I do have a two for 20, two different readings for $20. This is something Spirit had me doing, okay? But when you purchase it, a lot of people send me money, but I don't know you. You're not one of my regulars that I talk to. So I'm not going to search around and try to find you. I usually wait because Spirit said, wait, they will reach out to me. Y'all need to let me know how to contact you. I put on here. Google Chats, Google Me, Instagram, okay, or something like that. Or if you're going to book a reading, it automatically go to my phone and I will notify you. But since this is not on my website and y'all sending me money, I appreciate that. But I will contact, I mean, I, I got to know where to contact you at, okay? If I don't, I send you your money back. Okay, and if you want me to do it again, then you need to reach out and tell me how to contact you or you contact me. All those that's on my membership, free monthly reading every month, you got to let me know. For those that I do, I do it on Google Chats. Okay, y'all got to reach out to me. And for some of y'all, I do it on IG, Instagram. Y'all got to meet me halfway, guys. Okay, we got to make it work because it's not adding up. Another thing, on my thing, do you have any questions? It will ask you that when you go on my website. Don't just say yes and don't follow up with a question. You know, make it make sense, guys. And I'm not being difficult, but come on, make it make sense. Some of y'all are just doing that. Yes, I reached out to you. Yeah, it said yes, but is that your question? Yes, I don't know how to answer that question. Yes, come on, make it make sense. Okay, this is all I'm saying. Don't make things difficult. Let's clear the air. I want you to breathe in slowly. Exhale slowly. Breathe in slowly. Hold it. Release slowly. I am in peace, no matter what is happening around me. I know there is peace within me. I am not rushed. I am not behind. I am right where I'm supposed to be. I know that things will come together in perfect timing. I give and I do my best with the task in front of me without thinking about any others. I allow myself moments of stillness to hear my soul I allow my moments of stillness to hear from my spiritual team. I allow my moments of stillness to hear from God and align with my center. I am in peace. I cut all cords from anyone that are stopping me from being who I truly am. I cut all cords that are blocking me from moving forward in my life. I return them wrapped in love, light, peace, and harmony. I return to sender. I am taking back my life. I am living the life that I'm supposed to live. I am becoming the person that I am supposed to be. I accept with my team. I am the voice of the voiceless spirit. One card. Thank you. Surrender to the magic of who you are. We all have magic in us. You just have to bring it out. Just like uh, Dorothy, click those heels three times. I am magical. I call my magic back to me from the east, west, north, south. I am walking in my magic. We all have magic in us, even in the mundane 
aspect of life. Remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that a uniqueness and worth that comes from just being you. Just be you. That's all they want you to be is you. All they want you to do is deliver the message. One card, spirit, please. Thank you. They gave two. Every cell in my body is conscious and communicates with each positive thought that I have. When I move my body, I feel empowered, cleansed, and strong. Surrender to the magic of who you are. One card, spirit, please. not underestimating my own magic anymore this must be coming out a lot of y'all are doubting yourself a lot of y'all not trusting in your team y'all not believing how powerful you really are i'm not underestimating my own magic anymore and this is the number eight card and this is very powerful magic power beginnings transformation surrender to the magic of who you are Okay, when I move my body, I feel empowered, cleansed, and strong. Every cell in my body is conscious and communicates with each positive thought I have. When you move, they move. When they move, you move. When you're positive, things are going to pop off positivity. You want to manifest in a positive vibration, a high vibration. How, this is how you manifest your desires. Decide what you want. Believe you can have it, believe you deserve it, and believe it's possible for you. And then close your eyes. And every day for several minutes, visualize having what you already want, feeling the feelings of already having it. Come out of that and focus on what you're grateful for already and enjoy it. Then go into your day and release it to the universe and trust that the universe will figure out how to manifest it. The universe is big enough for everybody to have what they want. There's no reason to be greedy. Stop focusing on what does your neighbor has, what your neighbor's doing. It might hurt because you might see your neighbor is not doing what you're doing, but show grateful, be grateful, be thankful. Say, hey, congratulations. That's how you know. When you are happy for them, that's how your blessings coming because you're not blocking it with jealousy, envious type of energy all right we adding things up okay one card spirit bound we have bound number 44 you could be 44 years old 44 breaks down to eight so 88 could be significant to you you may be obstructing your own progress or something may be binding you consider the scenario again and check to see if it's a signal that you need to shift direction sometimes you bounding your own self you self-sabotaging yourself because you're jealous of you saying what you can't do not believing in you Okay, holding yourself back in that eight of swords, vict a victim mentality, saying everybody's obligated to you, baby. People don't owe you shit. People don't owe you shit. People are not obligated. So stop feeling that people are obligated. No, their job is to be what they supposed to be. Their job is to do what they supposed to do. The enemy is doing itself, putting stops in your head and you are allowing it. Stop being jealous of thy neighbor congratulate them and don't worry about how they got it okay because sometimes the bigger you are the harder you fall you don't know how that's none of your business mind the business that pay you is minding your business and trying to figure out your magic how to work with it okay so like i said sometimes y'all are binding your own self to you in that victim mentality 
being jealous of somebody else's gifts. Everybody's spiritual path is different. Everybody's gifts is different. We all could be clairaudient. We all can be psychic, but we all get the, you know, we hear differently, we see differently, we feel differently, but the, all the message is the same. Zero and four is four. Two and two is four. One and three is four. Different ways, but it's still four. 41 breaks down to five. Hummingbird, you are that miracle that happened. You're that miracle that soon as you was conceived, it went up in the spiritual realm. Oh no, she or he is born. She and he is conceived. Okay, we got to stop that. Your mom might have had a complicated time with you. You could have been born early. You could have been born uh, with the veil over your eyes, okay? And then when, your, when you took your first yah, okay, the spirit alarm went off. She or he is here. You are a miracle. You are that hummingbird. You are small but powerful. Where is your magic? Surrender to your magic. Stop underestimating who you are. Stop underestimating your power. Nitroglycerin is small, but it's very powerful. A hummingbird is small, but it's very powerful. A hummingbird flies very fast and backwards. All right? Stop binding yourself to these negative things. Stop underestimating you. Shelter. We have the number one, spiritual growth, accountability, healing. Hold yourself accountable. Stop letting people say this and this about you. Prove them wrong. Turn those can'ts into I can. Turn that impossible to I'm possible. There's 26 letters in the American alphabet. If A don't work for you, you got 25 more letters to go. You have 25 letters. Where do you have to start at? In the beginning, with you. That's where you start. Start holding yourself accountable. One card, Spirit. Well, we have Kuznite. And then we have Keratom. Okay, I don't know what that is. So let me read it. I am grounded. No, I surrender all burdens. Okay? This is what the card looks like. I surrender all burdens. Take a moment to ask yourself, what are you trying to avoid or ignore that you know in your heart is a problem? With quantum comes the acknowledgement and awareness of what we try to set aside. As its energy provides the lift of the suffering, in turn, it brings you clarity to see the root of your challenge. As uncomfortable as it may be, it's always to your benefit to do whatever is necessary to conquer your shadow and the blockages hidden within them. Let your tensions rise up to be nurtured and headed. What am I holding on to that only holds me back? You are binding yourself. This is exactly what I'm saying. Seek shelter within you. Seek shelter into your spiritual team. All right? Don't care about what other people feel or think about you. Kuzanite, I allow myself to experience joy. Kuzanite is a pale pink stone that has been used to encourage empathy and compassion. It is also connected to the divine feminine energy and the heart. Okay? What does pure happiness feel like to me? You have to find it yourself. All right? Let's get into the message. Bottom of the deck, they said, stand your ground. Return back to your roots. You are wounded, but you're not weak. You are going to go through a tower moment. This tower moment is to build character, to build your strength, to help you go deep within and find that magic, find your power. Okay, stay out of your head. Like I said, y'all are causing distress. Y'all, excuse me, y'all are letting other people's opinions take over your body, paying rent in your head. I mean, living free in your head and not paying rent. Bringing out the magic. Stop underestimating your magic your power call it back to you okay connect with all the elements connect with the elemental beings okay take back your power your throne take back who you are all right you are going to bring in one get out of your head the past gave you a present that you need to focus on 
Stop focusing on the future. Stop focusing on the past. Maintain and focus on that present that was presented to you. You are getting ready to get clarity. You're getting ready to get new beginnings. You're getting ready to see the truth about who you are. You are going to be able to handle it. How do you manifest? When you manifest, make sure you are on that vibration too. Don't manifest somebody that's not on your level because it's not going to work. All right? You are calling in love. You are going to get that Ten of Pentacles. You're calling in love. Love is coming towards you. But baby, you got to tend to your own garden first and make sure you get rid of all the weeds before you go tend to somebody else's cup. Butter your own biscuits before someone comes in to butter your biscuits, okay? You are going to get that recognition. Stop holding down on your gifts. Stop saying what you can't do because you're not like this person. We're all gifted. We're not all chosen, but we're all gifted. Stop comparing yourself to others on their spiritual journey. There's no competition because there's no comparison. No comparison, no competition. A bamboo tree and an oak tree, both strong, both got roots in the ground, but they do not compare with one another. Stop comparing your journey and move into that calling, that state ability that you're supposed to be in. I send you peace, love, and light. I say, oh.